Hi everyone, welcome to Inspiration Ministries. I'm David Chadwick. We're dealing with a very thorny, difficult issue of why is there suffering? If God is good, why is there suffering in this world? Some have suggested that this is the Achilles heel of the Christian faith. If God is good, how can there be suffering in the world? If he could stop it, why doesn't he stop it? And there are biblical answers to the question of why is there suffering and why God allows this suffering to continue until the day that he ultimately deals with it. In order to understand the whole idea of creation and God's original intent, you need to understand the Trinity, one God and three persons, a unique doctrine of the Christian faith. God is love. That's clear throughout the Bible. But for there to be love, God must have an object of His love, and that existed within the Godhead. The Father loved the Son, the Son loved the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit loved the Father, and the Holy Spirit loved the Son, vice versa. Within the Godhead, there was perfect, unconditional love. This creation was made by God in order to extend that love. He created Adam and Eve and you and me to participate in that beautiful, authentic, unconditional love relationship. When God made this world, therefore, He created Eden, which means paradise, a world that worked in perfect harmony within itself. There was harmony with God and Adam and Eve. There was harmony between Adam and Eve. There was harmony within Adam and Eve, no depression or discouragement, etc. There was harmony with creation, no tornadoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, etc. And in this harmony, there was this garden where Adam and Eve actually walked with God, talked with God, that's what prayer is, a continual communion with God and God back to them, an intimacy. And God said to them, you can continue to have this Eden, this paradise, uh, but don't eat of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for on that day you will surely die. The first thing all of us need to note in dealing with the topic of suffering is that death was never intended to be a part of God's original creation. It's a curse. It's something that was outside of God's original intent. And God said, if you eat of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will surely die. So that malevolent force, Lucifer, who became Satan, the destroyer, led a rebellion in heaven because he wanted Jesus' position. He took a third of the angels with him who became the demons. They came to this earth to tempt Adam and Eve with this message, you will be as God. Be God yourself. God's a celestial killjoy. He doesn't want you to participate in all that he wants you to have. And so the rebellion occurred when Eve ate of that fruit by her own choice, and she invited sin into this world. Now, when that happened, Adam participated with her, and every part, every particle of God's original intent that was working harmoniously became disharmonious. Now there is no longer a relationship between God and us. It's been shattered. No longer is there a beautiful love relationship between people. It's been shattered. No longer is there an internal harmony. It's been shattered. Now there's no longer a harmony in creation, it's been shattered. That's the reason that we have suffering in the world. It is rebellion, it is our sin, and it's affected every part of God's original order. God wants to do something about it through Jesus, and that is the restoration of original intent. But during that meantime, when we wait for Jesus' return, we live in a world that's filled with suffering, with hope. <laughs> 